if you as a citizen of nigeria if you are not if you've not had enough from cbn at this point like it means you're very strong will because <laughs> I, myself, and I, <laughs> I am very tired. Like, it's been two consecutive times now that they have allegedly said that they got uh, an informal or formal order from CBN to go ahead and recirculate the old Naira notes. And th these two times, it has ended up being false. The CBN has ended up denying that they did not know anything about it. They did not issue these orders. You know, even recently, that these banks have started reissuing uh, the old 500 Naira and the old 1,000 Naira notes, probably because they felt, you know, people are now becoming a pain in the neck for them. They were getting really, really tired of, you know, troubles from people every day. You know, they had to, you know, shock people. They have to shock their mouth. But unfortunately, it's not the right thing to do. This bank started releasing these old Naira notes. These people took the old Naira notes to the market and no one ended up collecting it. They took the notes back to the bank and guess what? The bank told them to go to CBN to generate a code so that they will be able to now accept the notes back from the customer. I'm like, why did you, re why did you issue this, uh, these old Naira notes to them in the first place? When you knew quite well that you were not going to accept it back from them when they bring it out, when they bring it back to you. So what's the point? What is the point, really? Anyway, that's not the reason why we're here today. Earlier today, there was, you know, a widespread news saying that the CBN has, you know, authorized uh, banks, authorized the circulation of this old Nara note, like all over again for the third time. Of course, the ex-CBN, Soludo, governor of Ovanambra State, he said that uh, Emefiele said this at a summit that was held on Saturday or Sunday, I think, that Emefiele said this in, himself. When I saw it, I was like, I was reluctant to bring the news to you guys because I knew that hmm, once again, this this is going to turn out to be false. And of course, you would not believe it. Like, <laughs> the disappointment. Oh my God. Before we go into the details of today's news, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please and please make sure you subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell so that you can be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video give this video a massive thumbs up so that this video gets in by a wider audience so that you know a lot of people view this video all over the world lastly please and please leave your comments in the comment section i love to hear from you without further ado let's delve right into the details of today's news the Central Bank of Nigeria on Monday spoke on ordering commercial banks across the country to dispense and accept the deposit of old Naira notes. This is coming after the governor of Anambra State, Chukuma Soludo, claims that the APS Bank directed banks to accept the old notes. Soludo had said, in quotes, commercial banks have been directed by the Central Bank to dispense old currency notes and to also receive the same as deposits from customers. Tellers at commercial banks are to generate the codes for deposits and there is no limit to the number of times an individual or company can make deposits. The governor of Central Bank of Nigeria gave the directive at a banker's summit meeting held on sunday 12th march 2023 the governor dr godwin emifele personally confirmed the above to me during a phone conversation on sunday night the acting director of corporate communications cbn isa abdomomim in a chat with daily post however debunked the claim of governor soludo he said there is no statement from CBN directing commercial banks to dispense and accept the old 500 Naira and 1,000 Naira notes from Nigerians. According to Abdul Momin, Soludo's statement 
on the policy emanated from him and not CBN. He said Governor Charles Soludo's statement emanated from him, not the Central Bank of Nigeria. The Central Bank of Nigeria has not issued any statement directing banks on a, on a collection of old Naira notes. I am sure someone in the future, the bank will, I am sure sometime in the future, the bank will issue a statement. You guys, like, <laughs> I'm having a headache from just reading this. Like, CBN, can you just please come up with a decision already? Like, can you come up with a decision? Ah, gosh, I'm tired. Where did all these people just keep seeing CBN orders from? Where did they keep getting their own CBN orders from? Because I don't understand at this point. You will hear someone say, oh, CBN ordered this. Another person will say CBN ordered this. Another person will say, no, it is this. Like, I'm tired at this point. Like, I'm tired. Nigerians are tired. Like, what did we do to deserve this? It may feel it. <laughs> like someone say, it may feel it. It may feel it. But what did that old woman call, call him? Like, it's just so tiring. Like, Nigerians are struggling enough. So now compound it with the scarcity of the Naira notes is, is quite difficult. I would not lie to you all. It's really, really difficult. If you're outside the country at the moment, like, you guys are enjoying. You guys are enjoying. Just stay there. Don't come back. <laughs> nah, Nigeria is a very good place to be. But at the same time, yeah, these policies are not making things, are not making things easier. You get me? Like, we have a lot of challenging situations in the country already. It's now been compounded with the scarcity of these Naira notes. Like, I don't even know what to tell you guys. I'm tired. Please, if you're feeling like me in the comment section, let me know. Just let me know how you all are feeling. How are you managing? How have you been managing? Like, people who have small, small kids... They have to go to school, you know, kids that still cry for biscuits and, you know, snacks. How are you guys coping wherever you are? Let me know. Share your opinions in the comment section. Thank you very much for always listening and watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.